Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on, somebody, give him glory, give him praise always. Hallelujah. If you see my title, it says Radio Ministry Tomorrow on 99.9, .9, and I'm going to actually um, edit that at 10 o'clock to 1030. Tomorrow, we're going to be discussing Battlefield of the Mind. God has been really on me all this week about, you know, let's, let's, let's talk for a moment. Have you ever been um, talking to somebody or even listening to somebody and the enemy whispers, oh, are they lying or they're not really living that life or just something derogatory? If you are not strong enough, you will believe what the enemy said. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all know I just have lots of stories, but they're all true stories. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I was in T-Mobile in California one day, and the enemy just was messing with me. And as a matter of fact, that's what he does. He tries to get in your mind. The whole battle is in the mind. That's what he did with Eve. He said, God didn't really say, come on, somebody, hallelujah. So he'll try to get you to think and to question God. Come on, somebody, and to doubt God. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up in here. So he was just, just whispering and whispering. And I guess I forgot where I was. I didn't care. In front, I'm serious. At T-Mobile, in front of everybody, I just said, "Ooh, Satan! I rebuke you in the name of Jesus." Y'all already know. Everybody just looked at me, and I was embarrassed for a moment. Then I was like, <laughs> "I was not going to accept because let's let's talk for a moment." It's called the power of agreement. If you agree with that thought, that thing that he is saying then you will do that. How many times do you say to yourself, I don't know why I did that. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me talk to you for a moment about making the right choices and how he eats. You see, he's the master of suggestion. Oh, come on, go ahead, have a drink. Oh, come on, do this. Ain't nobody knowing. Go, go ahead, steal this or, or, or do this. And, and if you accept that thought, it's process. It's a suggestive. As a matter of fact, let me tell you how real it is. Don't they do that in the stores? And in fast food restaurant, suggestive selling. Would you like an apple pie today? Come on, somebody in the stores. Soon as you get to the register, they have all that stuff. Now, that's not suggestive, but it's suggestive because if you right there, oh, I need this. Oh, I need this. So the enemy is always bargaining. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So tomorrow I'm going to be on the radio talking about how to be strong in the Lord and actually how to combat the thoughts. That's why God says you got to pull down every stronghold. But let me tell you something. You can't do this if you don't have the mind of Christ. That's why he says those that keep their mind stayed on me will have perfect peace. Let me ask you something. What have your mind been on lately? The whole thing is distraction. You know, I wrote something years ago and I'm still using it. Sometimes you don't know that you're being distracted into afterwards. And, I, and I'm going to tell you something. This is going to sound bad, but it's real. A lot of people that I was around back in the day, and when I say back in the day, we're talking about not even two, three years ago. It wasn't that there wasn't good people. They were weak-minded people. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't get offended. I'm just telling you the truth. Because here's the deal. With the type of anointing that I have, the enemy will try to play you against me. And if you're weak-minded, you're going to turn. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why you need people that will be strong in the Lord and say, guess what? I got you. Even when I don't like you, I got you. I got you with your flaws. I got you with whatever the enemy suggests. I'm going to pull it down and I'm going to say, no, that's not of God. Come on, somebody. That's why people kill people. That's why people do bad things to people because they are mentally incapable. And hold on. I don't mean mental health because I don't, I don't get down with that. That's psychology and all that stuff. That's of the world. That is a spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That is a spirit. That is a demonic possessed spirit. Let's talk Bible. Did God, as a matter of fact, in the Bible, find me one word that says mental. That's for all you scholars and everybody. Find me one word in the Bible that says mental. I challenge you. Now, he will say mind-binding demons or mind-binding spirits, but God ain't never said nothing was mental. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said guard your mind, but he never used the word mental. It's definitely mental health. You can't even find it in the Bible. The devil is a lie. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The devil is a lie. I said the devil is a lie. So I pray that you join us tomorrow. You can also join on the radio or the internet. But I really want to talk about this subject because too many people are falling. That's how pastors are, are, are sinning before God. Excuse me. It's called suggestive thoughts. And then some, somebody else um, brought this to my attention. Well, a lot of pastors that are committing suicide, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Those are demons. He's called the whisperer. Kill yourself. As a matter of fact, Y'all notice the kids been saying that? And then y'all wonder why suicide and bully are rebuking the name of Jesus. Y'all understand what's happening? 
suggestion. That's why they said death and life in the power of the tongue. That's why you're supposed to pray over your kids, pray over your city, pray over your town, pray over your house, go through your house with the word of God in and out. Let me tell you something. People rather have fun. The enemy and came in the um, church and introduced vacay and just having fun and everybody. This is war. And in war, you have to be strategic. You have to get on your face. You have to fast. You have to pray. You have to be in shape. Come on, somebody. I'm finally getting it. It took me years to get hit, to get here. It, it took me years. I knew, but it's a process. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And a lot of you are still processing. Number one, if you even want to do this, because this is not easy. And to be honest with you, we have a church. I'm going to tell you why the body of Christ is not as effective as it could be. Because people are weak-minded. You're not asking God, God, make me strong. You're not doing what it takes. You're going to have to get in that word and you're going to have to let that word get in you. And you're going to have to ask God, God, keep me. And you're going to have to stay on your face. And people don't want to sacrifice these days because if it's hard, I don't want to do it. That's the generation we got now. But if you read your Bible, especially in the Old Testament, they knew they had to do it in order to survive and thrive and do what God has called them to do. Every time that you've let down your guards, what happened? Something bad, huh? Oh, I'm just telling you right now. I'm going to rebuke you because I don't want nobody to say I'm speaking that in your life. But every time you let down your guards, every time you stop doing what you knew to do, something didn't happen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I have made up my mind and I'm going to do this thing the way God say do it. Because guess what? He says in Joshua 1, 5 through 8, he says, have I not commanded you to be of good courage? Oh, come on, somebody. Then he says it again. Have I not commanded you to be of good courage? And then he says, meditate in this word day and night, and then you shall make your way successful. Notice he said, make opposition is coming, whether you like it or not. He said, and then thou should have good success. But after you do what you have to do, come on, somebody, how do this stuff? And no, it's not easy. I promise you it's not easy. So God bless you. God keep you. Um, hopefully you'll be able to get on. And um, if not, I would definitely try to get back. You know, <laughs> let me tell you how crazy that, that enemy was. I couldn't get on Facebook Live. My phone just kind of like wouldn't even let me get on. So he had to just take some clips of us. And, and some of you saw it if you did see the um, the replay. And I was like, ah, oh, so, so really? Y'all know how they roll. Y'all know how they roll. They don't like that power going forth because it breaks yokes. It stops. And hold on. I'm nothing. I'm just a servant of the living God. But let me tell you something. I know who is something. It's the power of God that's still alive. It is the same one that divided the Red Sea. It's the same one that raised Jesus Christ. It's the same God that, ha, hallelujah, help you and me daily that wake us up and say, touch up. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The power of God is still real. And God is looking right now on the earth for somebody that will stand in his name and that will go for him. Who will go for me, saith the Lord? Who will live for me? Who will die for me? Oh, y'all ain't ready for that one, huh? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All right. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.